Hi, I'm Paul Heaney, Editorial Director of Fluid Power World. Welcome to our countdown to IFBE, where we're down to 42 days until this triennial fluid power event in Las Vegas. Today, I'm standing in front of the Paris Las Vegas Resort and Casino. When a lot of people uh, think of this resort, they immediately think of the Eiffel Tower. This Eiffel Tower is actually only a little bit more than half scale at 540 feet tall. Now, originally, the planners had uh, decided to build it at its full size, 984 feet tall, but given its proximity to McCarran International uh, Airport here in Las Vegas, it's only about a mile and a half from the runways, uh, the FAA said we'd like you to keep it a little bit shorter. There's also a two-thirds Arc de Triomphe and a large uh, balloon-shaped sign that says Paris that everyone uh, recognizes right away. Now, as we discussed a couple of episodes ago, IFP has been co-located with Con Expo and Con Ag, uh, two other trade shows since 2002. Con Expo and Con Ag earned the top spot on the Trade Show Magazine's Gold 100 Trade Show ranking as the largest show in the U.S. of any industry in 2014 with more than 2.35 million square feet of exhibit space. The shows also boasted more than 2,100 exhibitors and more than 129,000 attendees. Unbelievable. Now Con Expo and Con Ag bills itself as the international gathering place for the construction industries and it showcases the latest equipment and products as well as services and technologies for the construction market. Originally founded in 1909, Con Expo was originally designed as a road show demonstration of amazing new devices that could do the work of 15 horse-drawn units. In 1996, the show joined with the International Concrete and Aggregate Show to become what we today call Con Expo Con Ag. That's all we have for today. Let's go back to our editorial offices in Cleveland. Thanks, Paul. This year's IFP is going to bring together people from all over the globe, especially with the World Fluid Power Summit from the National Fluid Power Association. Slated for Thursday, March 9th at noon, the event hosts industry and association leaders from more than a dozen countries, including Australia, Canada, China, Germany, India, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Taiwan, Turkey, the United Kingdom, and the United States. The goal is to share information and education initiatives with presentations on the fluid power trends in each market. Additional presentations will be offered on standardization initiatives and worldwide fluid power certification programs. Anyone can register for the summit, but seating will be limited, so advanced registration is required. Visit nfpa.com for more details. Be sure to stay tuned for our next IFP preview with a look at more cool technology the show is promising.